Team Kill Podcast. Intentional Strays. Oh, what is up, everybody? My name is Killing Spree 37. My name is Silencer. And this is the Team Kill Podcast, episode 31. Uh, I am not going to lie, guys. I'm a little bit under the weather. Uh, you know, I don't have corona, but I wouldn't be surprised if I did, just minus a few symptoms. Like I was telling Dill earlier, I would know if I, you know, had the symptom of not being able to taste or smell, you know, because of all the ass I was eating the other day. Oh, cool. <laughs> 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 not expecting that. <laughs> uh, Silencer, how was your weekend? <laughs> you know what? I took my time to uh, doing a little project, putting up a fence, because, you know, as a Mexican, people put that as a stereotype. And we went ahead. Was it on it. the other side of the wall that Trump was already building? Yeah, yeah. Good I, shot. I have to protect it. You're trying to keep us out. Yeah. Good shot. Build against you. <laughs> Other than that, you know, I for the first time I sat down and watched a um a TV show on Hulu, which is I don't know how many people listening like rap music, but the show right. is called Rap Um I mean Hip Hop Uncovered. Right. Very good show. So if you're a fan yeah. of rap and the origins of hip hop. You should watch it. It's on Hulu. Mm. And now, you know what? I made my tea. I fucking sat down. And for the first time, I fucking unplugged myself from my phone and just watched that shit. And it was the best relaxing time I've ever had in a long time. So, right. You, you remember you fucking, remembered all the days that you were busting raps? Yeah. Hell yeah. Back in high school, buddy. Back in high school, huh? <laughs> middle school. You know what? It started like in middle school, but I was a little, I didn't have, a, I didn't have, how do I say, money, I guess, to um, to invest on a microphone and shit until I went to high school doing, uh, you know, some little little jobs here and there. But, yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, got myself a fucking a MIDI player, MIDI player for fucking <laughs> all that bullshit, fucking microphone, a little mixer. Fucking head uh, studio, buddy. Ooh. All right. Yeah, you know, I used to, like, I think everybody used to, like, kick raps. But, like, my school in particular, uh, our music teacher was, like, 100% into it, right? So we Any used to have, um, yeah, we used to have a teacher. Mm-hmm. And this was back when uh, George Bush had the No Child Left Behind bullshit. So... <laughs> okay. Uh, what was funny about it was we had this uh, curriculum test that we used to take every year called the CSAP test. Um, the CSAP? And it, CSAP. So it was like a... They don't do it anymore because of the No Child Left Behind shit being removed or something. Um, but it's basically a test you take every year to see where you're at in testing and maybe they can make adjustments to put you in the right places, Right. Um, my final year of taking it was my sophomore year in high school and mm-hmm. knowing that it was my last time to take it and that it was no choice, no, no real reason to take it. I fucking, uh, did random on the test and did extremely horrible on the test. Um, I did nothing what they asked me to do, but besides the point, uh, we used to have a teacher that was really into us rapping and stuff like that. So she would let us during our lunch hour and free period mm-hmm. uh, go in the the music room and record raps. One of the raps, damn, my fucking voice broke all shit. Like I'm going through puberty. One of the raps, <laughs> <laughs> one of the raps was about the CSAP test, right? And it was supposed to be written. And recorded and performed in front of the entire school. Okay. So I wrote my verse. The homie wrote his verse. Another homie wrote his verse. And we created our own beat. And it was a hard beat, right? It was nice. Um, let's see. I, if I can remember the, of the verse I said. Uh, uh, just do your best. No need to stress. You need good grades to be the best. You can make it if you try. Just do it right and go through school and life and stay tight. Uh, do you do your CSAP test with no stress? And then our little chorus would be like, CSAP, yeah, yeah, CSAP. 
What the fuck? <laughs> right. I don't even so, remember it. So fucking. Crazy. Uh, just because, like, I, I was like, it was, uh, it was a mo. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's one of those moments, like, you fucking remember in case, like, you want to like do stuff in life. It's one of those moments that like push you to do certain things, right? <laughs> so I remember that like clearly. So, um. Uh, when I hear you say the the rapping and shit like that, I was like, yeah, you know, I used to be bus flows and shit, you know? <laughs> bus flows. I think every, if there was a kid that did not fucking even try to, you know, try to rap and shit in their middle school or um, high school, they were probably boring as fuck. For real. At least a rap of the rapper. Everybody fucking did that shit. Even the fucking, the chicks, the fucking guys, the fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. I saw females too. I saw females. My first uh, battle was in uh, fucking high school, and I fucking dropped a bomb on this kid, bro. He used to rap, right? He used to just be annoying and, like, bother me, right? It'd just be like a super dick, okay? So well, eventually, yeah, so eventually we always had, like, these, like, bi-weekly meetings with our guidance counselors. And I ended up telling her, like, man, this fucking kid, you know, she's giving me a hard time. And she's like, well, what is, what is he like? And I was like, yeah, you know, he likes, he likes to like rap. Right. And she's like, well, why don't you try to rap and, and beat him rapping? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, if you find out a bunch of information, right. About him, you make it into a rap. And while he's rapping in front of people, you rap a verse that's about him and you embarrass him. So I did that. I okay. took that into my own hands, <laughs> and um, um, I, w- I don't I don't remember that verse clearly. But the haymaker at the very end was that uh, he used to kiss his sister like open mouth on the lips. Ooh. So I said that, and damn near fucking cried and had a panic attack. He ran he ran off to school right. And, like, yeah. the next weeks or two, you never saw that kid again. Damn. But, boy, was it the fucking, the icing on the cake. He straight <laughs> up murdered that boy. Yeah, it was, like, it was like a couple bars and shit. It was in front of all his little friends and, like, was he his white? girlfriends and shit. No, nah, he was, he might have been, like, a little Mexican mixed, you know, mm-hmm. white and Mexican. So, right now at this, um, you know, at 11.14, my time, on Monday, right. March 29th. Do you think there's inbred in the family? Uh, listen, I would hope that, like, because I knew the sister, and I was, like, extremely... That's how I found out, was from the sister, okay? Oh, she told me just like that? She had told me, yeah. So, um, after that, they moved, and I can't find them on Facebook. So, I hope there's not no type of inbred. That would kind of be weird. I mean, you're living in America, buddy. Champions in America. Right. Listen, shout out to all our inbred listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, my fucking past weekend was, you know, extremely good uh, up until um, up until I just got sick these last two days. But I mean, it's what else could you ask for? Until you got something stuck in that throat. I know. I fucking, I might have swallowed something like completely horrible. I gave a Ooh. fucking ghost some head. And they're just like, nah. <laughs> like, fuck, of all the ghosts that could have fucking, I could have gave head to, they had to be the one with the biggest fucking dick. <laughs> My whoa, whoa. fucking throat is hurting. <laughs> little secret, um, little secret, um, dreams of yours. Like, it might have been Mad Dog from Scary Movie 2. <laughs> fucking A. Nah, nah, no, never. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I finished the PC. Stickers are complete, so I can tell you guys about it. Uh, I've been working on merch. Go ahead and hit ks37psn.com and cop a Nerf Def sticker. It's a Grim Reaper adjusting the aim of a rocket launcher that a soldier is trying to use a person. And the thing behind that is, guys, your aim was never good. It was just that person's time to die. So cop it right now. It's a part of the Prestige 2020 collection. Uh, more stuff to be added to the collection, but yeah, the sticker is nice. Silencer got his pair. Uh, I'm giving Dill uh, a sticker and another sticker that I have just lying around. But yeah, I'm excited. 
you know, the future is looking really bright and uh, professional looking. So that shit looks like it came out in fucking modern warfare as a fucking gun charm. As a as a yeah, as a fucking pack, yeah. I was just having that conversation with somebody. They were like, "Man, that shit looks like you could put it on a gun." I'm like, "I know." So hopefully we can, you know what I'm saying? We can get it through. But yeah, nothing else to report. You know, living life, enjoying it. Oh, I'm gonna be going on a on some type of uh, trip soon. I don't know when, but uh, we're looking at like a nice little trip, and hopefully some more details could be added on later. You know, I don't know exactly how to vacation on Corona. How do you think we should, like, maneuver through that? Just stay at fucking home. You just stay at home. It's because, it's, yeah. you know, you, you fucking, like, yeah, you can fucking go out and have a fucking fun time. You come back, fucking wake up next week, and boom, you have fucking corona. Was it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> Put the fucking vaccine down and reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at fucking silencer back to his rap ways. Okay, I see you. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere like open, open like a Texas or a California or Miami, Atlanta. Uh, it'd it. probably be local. Yeah, it'd probably be local, or maybe like somewhere like not that far from here that might might have a monument or something. So we'll see how that goes. Monument? What kind of fucking gay as monuments does Colorado have? Listen, no, I said somewhere around Colorado. This food in Colorado, the only monument you have is fucking snow, the snow mountains. guys, fucking mountains fucking, made up of snow, fucking Texas, the air is snow, frozen, <laughs> Texas frozen in place, <laughs> fucking eating ass, fucking getting popsicled. <laughs> All right, bitch, you got some <laughs> jokes. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're about to get into a rapid fire. Rapid, rapid fire. Players ready up. Three, two, one. Silencer looks like the Mexican Khabib from Narmagomedov. Headshot. What the fuck is that? I don't even know who that is. That fucking MMA guy I sent you a picture of. <laughs> this week's SOS never one to bullshit. feel at home with the bald gorilla. Headshot. Oh, bananas backwards? That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> Uh, this fool Caesar plays Rocket League in real life and uses people instead of balls. Headshot. <laughs> Your gaming skills are worthless as me brushing my own beard, buddy. Headshot. <laughs> Is that one? Headshot. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> All right, time. Game time. over. Game over. What is this? No fucking way. That was a good one. For those of you that don't know, this fool silences beard. You know, it hasn't grown. It's, uh, you know, I prefer to have a clean face. Professional. Is it by choice or? It's, it's uh, deep down, it's, it's, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, down, like, one time uh, I, one time I like, I wanted to get rid of my beard, right? Because the women like, like the chicks back in my day, right? I don't mean women because it was like females, right? It was like chicks that were my age. Yeah, I was like the little little teenage, you know, fevers. Um, the beavers. This chick, this chick had told me one time. She's like, "Hey, I wonder how you look without the the stubble." So my dumbass, looking for rages in my mom's fucking underneath the sink. Right, I didn't find nothing at the time at all, actually. Yeah. So, but I found nair, and nair was hair removal. So I put nair on my face all over. From, like, the sideburns all the way around the lips, everywhere, right? Yeah. Uh, I might have left it on for, like, an hour and a half before I washed it. And you're only supposed to have it on there for, like, five minutes. My fucking face was so burned and raw. I, I like, at that moment, I stopped. I was like, no, nah, you know what? I have to have hair on my face. <laughs> I had, I had a wrong. red... I had a red beard, okay? Ginger? Of of all over, no, like skin. Boiled, blistered, crazy looking, bro. My face was never the same after that shit. I couldn't even shave for like the first Damn. like three months after that. That shit was it burning. It was insane. Huh? It was burning, but I thought it was normal, you know? Like, yeah, it's fucking, it's normal. 
But I didn't pay attention to instructions. I didn't pay attention to how to wash it. At what age did you start um to shave? At what age? So that was freshman year in high school. Okay. So uh whatever whatever that is, thirteen. Freshman year around there. Yeah, so it was around 13, 13 14. 14. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like nothing crazy, but yeah, it was definitely thirteen or fourteen. And it's like it's like I didn't even have that much facial hair. I just didn't like the way that it was coming out, like the peach fuzz and shit, you know? A little patchy. Just what I get. A little, little patchy. Um I I did like the chin strap thing for a while. It didn't really look good on me. And especially when you you can't have it like straight, chin you know? Strap. Yeah, the, you have the chin strap. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the chin, that's a gay name. What the fuck are you gonna call it the chin strap? <laughs> the fuck are you gonna call it? What are you gonna call it? The jaw line? The jaw strap? <laughs> It has to be another name. The fucking you, you, you're the only one that fucking come up with gay ass names. No, that was already in, in place. Put with like other people that had you nothing see? to do with me. I, I wouldn't know because I'm not a part of the beard association. Nah, you're a little bit a part of it. You're like the front line, okay? <laughs> I let it you're for like... a, for a month. It starts right. to you know grow normal, but then it gets to a point where it doesn't keep going up, and it just stops at a certain. Maybe like but it doesn't, good. it don't stop. You just don't let it grow. That's the issue. Yeah. It's because whenever, the, the only time I let it for like a month and a half, like it was growing, but I started getting itchy and I was like, fuck this. I took it off. That's the real bitch. Once you get past the itchiness, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck this. That is a beautiful tip by Killing Spree, also known as Beard Gang. <laughs> Bean Face uh, Gang, we- right? Beard face gang. Listen, we got a good little episode. We're going to keep it nice and short because, you know, daddy's voice is a little hoarse. You know, you heard the little the voice crack, you know, feel like I'm going through puberty again. Uh, first thing on the agenda. Listen, Sony. What a what a turn of events we've had with Sony and Microsoft going back and forth on buying uh things to make them exclusives and to add them into the current systems you had sony by evo the tournament event um and then you had this almost immediately afterwards taking place microsoft is allegedly in talks to purchase discord for over 10 billion usd No. So, what was your thoughts on this before I read into the article a little bit to give a little more details? Microsoft is like it's like a little kid that wants to be a part of everything, but nobody wants to be around. Right. Microsoft's getting to the point where Microsoft wants to have rich people problems and fight with dollars. Oh yeah. Right. You're beating me? Well, I'm going to buy Discord. And then it's like, oh, yeah? I'm going to buy the fucking monument in Washington. This It's going to turn into, <laughs> um, let me see what you can buy so I can buy more bigger. Well, this is a good thing to buy if you're going to have a pissing contest like that. Yeah, so, but yeah. It, it, it goes to the point of fucking Microsoft pulling this so they can try and dismantle Sony in some way. Well, this this has the potential to be a lot bigger. After I, I read a little bit, I'll kind of explain my thought process. Uh, it says here, Venture Beast first reported that Discord, the company with roughly 140 million monthly users that recently raised $100 million at a $7 billion valuation, was exploring a sale worth more than $10 billion. Uh, Discord was said to be one that reached out to Microsoft to gauge interest in the potential sale that Xbox head Phil Spencer has been a part of these chats. While purely speculation, it's important to consider how beneficial having a service like Discord could be for the future of communication on the Xbox platform. Now, I wanted to read that because me and you had a conversation. Uh, We wish that Discord could be in the PlayStation where we could be able to talk, right? It'd be a lot easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had those talks, I think privately and maybe on the podcast. Now, 
so uh xbox has reduced their their gold subscription shit where they didn't need to have internet to play free to play games online without an active subscription and they also took away the fact that you didn't need to have the gold online subscription to be able to talk to people in game chat like me and you can do on sony for free yeah okay now uh, I thought it was a little bit weird that they were making people pay money to play Apex monthly. Remember, I was surprised that you were paying. You were uh, you weren't paying for online. You were just playing Apex. Yeah, I had no idea that I needed to pay. Like you mentioned, I was like, "What the fuck? No." Right. Yeah, it's crazy. So um, I thought it was funny because they finally made it free for the, uh, like I said, the gold membership where you can finally have the the chat shit online without having to be an online user um because i feel like they might try to add discord into the gold subscription membership which would be huge because uh discord as you know we record on discord for podcasting right uh, that's yeah. how we we're able to do our podcast now if they did something along the lines of what me and him were talking about where we were speaking about if they make it into a game chat application where you can go in there and kind of um go in there do it like a normal discord you go in there you go to the see the the post you go to the different channels and you can do the voice channel uh and be able to talk to people and it'd be a lot more easier uh for people it'd be like cross play for vocals you know for chat yeah yeah so i thought that was a good idea uh what i don't mm -hmm. like about this deal is that it could be exclusive only to xbox and luckily, I have a Microsoft computer, so I don't think I will be uh, harmed. But yeah. for for it to be on Sony, it's not really likely at this point now anymore. I mean, yeah, that's true. It's on, I mean, it won't affect us any. It wouldn't affect, to be honest with you, it wouldn't affect anybody because fucking Discord is not even on fucking PS. Like, yeah. people who use it now don't even connect it to PlayStation. So even if Microsoft buys it, it's not going to, you know, make a difference. Yeah, no, that's true. But I, it would have been, like I said, I have issues right now because I can't hear my, I can't hear game chat through my headphones. I have to hear it through the remote. And these headphones are noise canceling. So oftentimes when they speak, I can't hear it. Yeah. Right. It makes it a tough thing to do with when you have subscribers who don't have discord and you want them to join the stream and play. Um, so if there's there's that that one obstacle, uh, but they're like it's, it's purely speculation at this point. Uh, I think ten billion is a little high for the company, but I mean if they're in talks with Microsoft and they reached out to Microsoft, uh, I'm wondering if they also reached out to Sony and maybe have something cooking and maybe they're trying to see what's up, bait them into buying the stuff because this would this would seal the deal. Uh, for for greatest console because you'd have something like I said it's a cross play a voice chat where you can just go in that app talk to people that are in the PC or people that just don't have a a microphone or whatever and yeah. really have some fun you know like really get into that type of shit so who knows uh, we'll leave that up in the air but in general how do you feel this could sway into their favor into Microsoft favor. Yeah, like how do you, you think they're gonna they're gonna pull the trigger on that? At this point, fucking Microsoft's trying to get their fucking hands on anything they can so they can start to get um a yep. bigger market share. Mm. Well, and then like you like I said, uh, Bashida, they they signed with uh, Bashida or they bought Bashida, and now they're they're focusing on Xbox exclusives, yeah. and and then you have this, which could be potentially another Xbox exclusive. Uh, away from its you know away from its um app for the computer you know it might be good but we'll see yeah. i don't think it's gonna affect um the way people are gaming at the moment because mm. i mean it's you're literally using a fucking windows computer to use it or your phone yeah yeah that's what so. i'm saying like I'm, I'm hoping that they don't switch it like all stupid you know like oh it's only on xbox nah bitch put it back on my computer <laughs> It's Microsoft anyway, so. Yeah, that's a good part that it is Microsoft. That's a good yeah. part. Yeah, we'll leave it there. You know, we'll come back to it when they announce if they're partnered up or not. Uh, expect to hear something within 
June, July. So these deals take forever, but I'm pretty sure the way that they've been talking and bringing up the negotiations and prices and stuff, they might be closer. Yeah, they might be closer to a deal than we're thinking. So um, this one was a little funny, right? I read this and chuckled a little bit because we we spoke about Fortnite adding a bunch of characters as rollouts for movies. Yeah, just a bunch of random ass characters, right? Last season was nothing short of spectacular when it came to collaborations and licensing for them to actually get type of skins. Um, These skins, however, are going to be incredibly, incredibly um, something like extraordinary, okay? Uh, Epic Games teases Jill Valentine, which is a character in Resident Evil 3, (laughs) CJ from GTA, what the Spider-Man, fuck? and more for Fortnite. So CJ, um, really? CJ, how the from fuck does CJ TV? belong in a fucking Fortnite universe? It makes no fucking uh, sense. Listen, if you wanted somebody with guns, CJ Carl Johnson is the one. If you want anybody, right? To be in fucking GTA, I mean, I'm sorry, Fortnite, that is one person you're going to want, okay? That fool is a killing machine, okay? All right? Among some other people, you also have a few names from the Resident Evil, Grand Theft Auto, and Super Mario Brothers. Uh, here's a few to uh, list off. Uh, Lady Dimitriescu, who is the tall woman in Resident Evil Village. Mega Man, Sans from Undertale. Hey, CJ. From Grand Theft Auto, Toad from Super Super Mario Brothers, Joker from Persona Five, and Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Okay, so, Toad. Yep, you're seeing how it's it's um it's going crazy. So they sent out a survey to selected Fortnite players uh, regarding streamers, influencers, YouTubers, clothing, fashion lifestyle brands, video game characters, musical artists, and more. So they were pretty much sending out a survey to to gauge, you know, like you want you want to figure out who wants what, right? What's going to be a popular item. And if these certain influencers are going to uh, promote this, what can we put on the character that's going to make it sell? You know, like if we fucking put Travis Scott with some Nikes, is it going to sell well, you know? Trash. So, um, we're not we're not that far away from them putting some unlikely characters in the game, bro. Fucking trash. Yeah, they're talking about, like, Doja Cat, the artist, uh, Spider-Man, potentially wearing Nike Air Force Ones. They, you know, they... <laughs> They have Tomb Raider currently in it. They have like all three versions of her, including a Fortnite made version of her. You should put um, fucking Peppa Pig on there. <coughs> fucking Peppa Pig. No, they need to put Caillou. They they Pe- fucking ban. You know who Caillou is? Yeah. Yeah, they banned Caillou. They took him off the air. They need to put Caillou in fucking in Fortnite. He would do some damage. <laughs> that big ass well, head. You like him because yeah. he reminds you of your hair? No. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Neutron head. Listen, they're going to they're gonna start adding these characters, bro. Fucking SpongeBob. You're going to have fucking shock, imagine. Static Shock. Fucking Jimmy Neutron. Dexter. Ben 10. Ben 10? <laughs> that would be crazy, bro. Ben 10 would be crazy. With like an animation of him fucking turning into a different uh, animal. That would be crazy. crazy. So we'll we'll see who's added in there. But my guess is, uh, listen, if they add GTA CJ from San Andreas, that's going to be a fine addition. That's like putting John Wick in there. You know? Yeah. They should add um, yeah. Peppa, Peppa the Pig so the game Peppa can fucking... Pig. So they can... Um, so the whole game can fucking roll around its own shit. Fucking Patrick Star. Imagine getting clapped by Patrick Star, bro. SpongeBob. Is this an <laughs> instrument? <laughs> he has like a gun. Shooting instrument your ass. Instrument of death. 
So sticking to Fortnite, right? You know these skins could be expensive, right? The the potential skins of having Spider Man wearing yeah. Air Jordans as an accessory. That shit could be expensive. Now there is a kid, and I'm pretty sure there's more than just one kid, okay? But this little asshole in particular buys fifty thousand dollars worth of V Bucks in Fortnite behind parents' back. Why does he have to be a little ass? Why does he have to spend fucking fifty thousand dollars that he just doesn't have? Why are the parents allowing the fucking credit card to be roaming around like that? I don't think that they allowed it. I think they left it in the system. Well, whose fault is that? You have to be like, I don't know. If I had a kid and I buy him something, I'll make sure that shit gets removed the instant I buy it, whatever the fuck he wants. Right. Let me see here. I'm trying to find the thing because the link fucking broke. It's 50,000 V-Bucks, right? Let's see here. Is that in uh, fucking US dollars? So I think per hundred is a dollar. I think that's what it is. Oh, uh, okay. For context, fifty thousand V bucks equates to around three hundred and fifty dollars on PlayStation money. Okay, uh, not that many people have that type of money to blow on fictional currency, bro. Okay, and let's see here. Um, as spotted by Frag Hero, K Maz Shipper loses her cool as she sends the crying child to their room. Why the fuck you got 49 fucking thousand V Bucks? She could be heard shouting, I'm gonna fuck you up. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Fear the <laughs> wrath of an angry mom. Uh, she went on to say, You spent $80 mad times because how you got 49,000 V Bucks. The parent continues in a second video for the rage cannot be contained to a single upload. This is far from the largest amount we've ever seen a kid spend in an online game using funds that aren't theirs, but it's quite something getting to see the real life reaction. Okay. Um, Crazy. They might have the video. It looks like it was a TikTok video. Ooh. Yeah, it was a TikTok video. I'm going to watch it later. Yeah, this is a TikTok video. That's him. That's him uh, blaming the brother. What the fuck? Blaming the brother. What is the mom? And here's the mom. <laughs> you better go to fuck to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. It's like in the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> so you can see why she was a little upset, right? Oh yeah. You know? That's that's a little more than half of the second stimulus check. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> the TV didn't look so fucking, you know, rich. <laughs> his defense, that was his stimulus check. Hmm. Oh, he did. He did, you know, provide. <laughs> he provided some funds because, you know, if it wasn't for him, the mama wouldn't have gotten his 1400 Well, listen, she only has 1150 now. <laughs> <laughs> or or $10,050. Uh, Are you kidding me? I'd fucking, oh man, I'd be so fucking pissed, bro. I'd be fucking fuming just like at the sight of like, what the fuck? You call the bank? The bank calls Sony. Sony tells you what the purchases were for. You go to the, your kid's shit, and they're just, like, back bling the fuck out, doing a bunch of dances. Nah, bro, we can't do that shit. Damn. So we you cannot do the, that shit. So you would put up the, um, the kid for adoption at that point or what? I'd put the kid up for adoption, okay? And in addition <laughs> to, I would sell the fucking device with the 49,000 fucking V-Bucks. You know, for at least half, you know, I want to have half my money. Okay. What is the refund pol policy? Nothing. Can't do shit about it. <laughs> nah, you know, it's, it's, um, 
for vir- for virtual currency, it's always something different, bro, because it's in the game, right? It's already in the game. They can't take it out. Um, sometimes, especially Fortnite, they have refund esque type of things, right? But they give you two refund uh, lifetime, right? So if you use these two refunds, you're fucked. That's it. You can't re- yeah, you can't refund nothing else for as long as you have the account for. And like the chick said, he bought multiple. He bought eighty eighty dollars worth of it multiple times. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't like she could she could only get maybe like one sixty back from her system. <laughs> so yeah, you know, you know, guys, pay attention to your kids and what they're doing because uh, they could be out here fucking getting V bucks and doing these little Fortnite dances, all fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea why they let this this kid. You know, and he's just like trying to blame the brother. It was my brother. <laughs> She's like, okay. And then she pans the camera to the brother, and the brother can't even walk. It was my sister. It was my brother. <laughs> so, Fucking bitch. You know, um, we're hoping, you know, no no, no parent, you know, pow pals. But, uh, you know, if if you, you know, if his ear was pulled in my, you know, in my presence, I would look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no problem here. So, it's no problem. Uh, speaking of, like, things getting put onto the internet, right? This might have been the most entertaining stream on Twitch. And it legit showed you IRL for 24, 48, 72 hours straight type of ordeal. You had Twitch stop sign stream. So are you familiar with this type of stream silencer? So, this Twitch stop sign stream was focused, and the camera was directed towards a stop sign in a intersection near a little neighborhood that people normally didn't stop for, okay? Okay. And normally, every single car that interacted with the stop sign did not stop. So, the person put the stream up. And got to watch everybody doing stuff, right? And it was one of the most funniest streams because nobody stopped for the stop sign, okay? Thank now, you, shit. However, nobody stopped for the stop sign. But Twitch stopped the stop sign stream. So according to Twitch, they had to stop the stream because people were ordering pizzas from address leaks Via the stream. What the fuck? Yes. This week on Twitch, a stop sign became a saga. Stop sign cam, a 24-7 stream of a single intersection in Salem, Massachusetts, where drivers regularly blow through a stop with no concern for their lives or others. Blew up thanks to a viral TikTok. That's where I saw it from, and then I went towards the stream to see how it was. Okay. But at its peak of popularity, it went offline, um, which can now have, which now has a hundred and fifty thousand followers, has been dormant. Okay, which it initially came to a complete not rolling halt. Uh, viewers were perplexed. Uh, they said it was done because it was real, right? A handful of viewers speculated that the stream went down because they were bothering the neighbors, and they were right. Okay. A neighbor had gotten a couple pizza deliveries in a row, and she called about it. The owner of the Stop Sign Cam channel told Kotaku in a DM, she said that she loved the chat and found it funny but was worried she would get more. I told her neighbors uh, are more important than a stream and stop streaming it, okay? Uh, All the VODs have been removed, especially from the YouTube channel, and because of the shit circulating till this day she is still getting pizzas what the hell an outrageous amount of pizzas like crazy amounts of pizzas who are they ordering these from just a local shop or like a big like pizza hut uh i would say whatever's around so it's salem massachusetts and i'm pretty sure they 
they ordered from every fucking pizza spot. You know what I'm saying? Once you do it to one, they're gonna be like, nah, don't do don't deliver there no more. They have to do it to another one. Damn. Crazy, bro. Like I would accept the pizzas that they were bought. What but, do you think the nah. um the name of the witch that's doing all this is? What do you think her name is? I would say it is uh Stapiana. Stapiana? <laughs> what Stapiana. the fuck? Listen, the last thing you want to do is piss off some fucking bitch in fucking Salem, Massachusetts. That's where they had the witch trials. Okay? That's what I'm saying. You want to piss off a A potential fucking witch witch from the original witch trials? Nah, you're fucking stupid. I would have stopped that shit too. What if she was ordering pizza for all the witches and they were having a fucking gathering? Oh, like they were allergic to garlic? (laughs) <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's the kryptonite for witches I fucking know besides fucking, fucking vampires besides fire and fucking John and the fuck hanging out of them. fucking hanging <laughs> <laughs> fucking hanging a witch how are you gonna hang a witch bro that's so what they did her broom, she flies away that bitch can snap out of her neck and fucking slide out no nah, listen I agree Levitate. I 100% agree. Levitate but, ima- but you can you imagine like just getting fucking pizza, pizza, and you're like, I didn't order any fucking pizza. And then it's like another fucking, pizza. another 10 orders, another 20 orders, another 50 fucking pizzas. And you're like, nah, bro, this needs to stop. This is marketing. Oh, that's what I would have said. <laughs> marketing, eh? <laughs> fucking pizza. This is marketing. That's like, um, Remember the house in Breaking Bad? Have you ever watched that show? No, I haven't. So in there in the show, there's a uh, a scene where they throw a piece of uh, a whole pizza on the roof, right? And um, it became like one of the funny moments of the show. So it's in uh, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and people found the house from the show and were going and putting pizza on the roof and taking a picture. Uh, this became an ongoing theme for years. The so people had to put up signs, fences, you name it, right? They had to put up a bunch of shit. They had to tell people to quit doing it because people were jumping over the fence, putting the pizza on the roof, and then leaving the pizza there and running away. What the fuck? Yeah, it's dangerous, bro. When they have those address leaks, it's dangerous. Damn. Fucking crazy. I can imagine. So, how would you feel if somebody leaked your address? And started sending like fucking prostitutes to your to your way. <laughs> what the fuck can you do? That's even if you tell them to fucking go. I mean, it's excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. They get paid by the hour. Okay. You said you wanted them Asian, half male. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your first hour. Your fir- listen. We're already in your first hour. Okay. You got to pay twenty five. Oh, hold, hold on. How the fuck are you gonna? Get a half mil. What does that even mean? Half mil. Half mil? I don't know, bro. <laughs> We're going into pronouns and shit. I'm scared. <laughs> that We're like going into already. <laughs> nah, you know, half mil, bro. Like just a fucking peen and no fucking balls. That sounds like a half mil. There you go. That sounds okay. half mil-ish. All right. <laughs> Without offending the, anybody, you know, listeners, apologies. <laughs> um. I thought that was the funniest shit, though. I was standing outside with my gun and waiting. Was ready to shoot or what? You fucking Texan? No, I'm ready to get closer. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't order you, bitch. I didn't order your fucking half-ass mail. This was ready to fucking clap the pizza man for doing his job. <laughs> no, you said half mail. Now the pizza guy comes. We can fucking sit down together. Eat the pizza while we watch for more prostitutes come by and fucking shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hey, imagine not, nah, but imagine this though, okay? Imagine like you owe people money and like they can't find you and then they find your oh, fucking address. Yeah. They find your dumb ass like outside fucking washing your car. Hey, isn't that fucking silencer? Oh, yeah, it is. He owes me money. Well, let's go run down on him. Then you're fucked. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You're fucked. <laughs> you can't do nothing at that point. You better fucking move. Fuck yeah, you're fucked. So <laughs> I thought that was an interesting thing. I thought you might have seen it from the TikToks. 
It was a pretty huge thing. I don't watch TikTok like you, bro. I don't either. I just watch them while I'm like not fucking doing computer shit. <laughs> and laying down you know. on TikToks. I know. Listening to put your head on my show. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's why that throat hurts. Put your something else on my something else. I know. I was fucking singing my fucking heart out to some Cardi B. <laughs> That's why, huh? That's why my shit was a little sore. <laughs> oh, moving on. Fuck Big guy. Sean was around, huh? <laughs> Hey, speaking of that food, Big Sean, right? I probably shouldn't be telling this because my fucking, my mail credit might be fucking down the shitter. But one time he was trending on Twitter and I was like, damn, what happened to Big Sean? You know, you fucking check the first post, bro. It's a fucking uh, dick pic. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> fucking did it at the perfect time. <laughs> That's funny. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? An arm? <laughs> oh, is this a birth defect? <laughs> <laughs> that damn fucking saved it. <laughs> like, okay, I see where the big and Sean go. Okay, all right. <laughs> fucking fucking guy. guy. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, the Sioux Canal. Are you familiar what happened over there? Are you familiar what happened over there? What is it going to be over there? <laughs> well, listen... <laughs> Tell me. Tell I'm me not 100 percent sure. Okay, I'm still a little new to what happened. I'm familiar with the memes, right? Who's not? You know, a fucking meme pops up like that, and you just got to know exactly what happened, right? Yeah. So, from what I saw, a big ass boat cargo ship got stuck in the Sioux Canal, right? The funny part of the thing was, it was legit stuck, right? Legit fucking stuck. So, they're trying to figure out um, what ha- who got it blocked. Hold on. Let me see right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. What happened? Okay. What happened to the Sukhanau? What is the Sukhanau and how did the ship get stuck? Okay. Yeah. So, for nearly a week, one of the world's key shipping canals was blocked by the one of the largest ships at sea. Okay. The vessel was freed Monday morning after a complicated rescue mission that drew attention from around the world as authorities and workers scrambled to unclog the crucial waterway. Now, this was a cargo ship that was carrying about $9.2 billion a day worth of product that they could have been selling, right? Yeah. So it was a Japanese-owned, ever-given cargo ship that was operated by the Taiwanese company Evergreen Marine, okay? It became yeah. wedged at an angle in Egypt's Suez Canal on March 23rd, okay? Uh, mm-hmm. They don't really say how it became stuck in there, right? But everybody made fun of this stuff because it, they couldn't get it unstuck, okay? okay. Uh, as far as they know, it got stuck because, who knows, they came at a wrong angle and then the shit drifted and that's what happened, right? So, while memes and stuff were traveling around the universe at the speed of lights, okay, another Mm -hmm. company was hard at work trying to get said ship in their own video game. Now, we talked about Flight Simulator earlier on, the art podcast adventure, okay? They put the evergreen, ever given, stuck vessel... In the Sioux Canal, which you could fly over in Flight Simulator. <laughs> Talk about accuracy. Remember. How long ago did it, um, did it take for it to put out this little feature after the incident? Uh, about three or four days. Damn. That's a good yep. development, motherfuckers. Yeah, they built it in there. They put it in there stuck. <laughs> And uh, next patch, they're supposed to be getting it out, but they're having a little fun with us as well. I thought it was funny because I'm like, cool. it's yeah, it's cool, right? I like when they do like they do like modern updates and shit. Well, oh, we'll talk about that one right now. Uh, mm-hmm. When they do when they do updates and shit, right? Uh, this was like the biggest fucking slap in the face, bro. Because imagine you're just driving by and you're just like, you're a part of that. 
And then you just you look down and you're like, oh, bro, this is where the ship is uh, stuck. And lo and behold, it's the fucking the ship in real life just yeah. right there sitting down. <laughs> oh, holy shit. This should just be That's camera fucking, live. That shit was funny. I was I would laugh, bro, because I saw a few TikToks that fucking showcased it. How many people I, was, I can't believe it. it. What's up? How many people you think already tried to attack it? You mean try to like move it? <laughs> Just land on um, it, fucking hit it, crash into it. Yeah, ah, definitely a good thousand people. It's only funny when the first guy does it, and then everybody else tries to do it like him and get the clout. Um, gotta check you. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit was to me. That was funny. I wanted to share that with you guys in case you didn't know. Um, cool. Yeah, before we get out, I sent you a funny video right from Twitter. Yeah, uh, it was a patch notes with no patch from Cyberpunk, and the guy showcased a video where he was scrolling through the entire patch notes, and it was about forty seconds of scroll. <laughs> that fucking shit was bigger than a CVS receipt. Okay, you saw how yeah. long that fucking patch note list was. I thought that shit was on loop, and then I realized it was just kept going and going. Kept going and going and going. And the funny part is, it's been 100 days since uh, Sony has taken it out of their Play Store. And there's no talks of them even putting it back. I don't think they are. I don't think they are either. And um, listen, the patch notes could have been... I don't know. I think they do these like mega patches. And especially, like, with the fucking source code being stolen and sold, um, they needed, they just need to put out, like, anytime they fix something, just hurry up and put a quick update and just update it like that, you know? So how long and, was, um, how long was, uh, <laughs> what date? When was, um, the, the launch date? So the launch date was, let's see here. It's, it was somewhere close. February, somewhere, January? No, 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 no. It was it was last year. It was around oh. Christmas, like November fifteenth or something. Uh, September seventeenth. Oh, okay. Yes. So September seventeenth is when they had it. Uh, actually, now they're saying yeah. that the the patch is now live for PC and consoles. So, but before they they didn't even have the. The actual bug fixes and shit already in the system. Uh, I feel like it's a little too late. And the more that we talk about this game, the more that it dies. So, you know, I think it's over. I think it's safe to say that the game, um, it, it, it ran its course. It, yeah, it's dead. It ran its course. They haven't even dropped crazy. any DLC for it yet. And it was supposed to be like the month after they were going to drop DLC for it. They're not going to do shit. They fucking, that game is more dead than anything. They're gonna yeah. try to revive it, but it's not gonna work. Everybody, no, it's not. I left with a bad taste. You can't fucking fix that shit. Yeah, I got rid of it a long time ago. I fucking sent it to a subscriber, and who knows what he did with it. <laughs> um, it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for listening to the episode. We kept it a little fairly short. You know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling too uh, great and energetic. You know, I'm actually fucking. I'm doing the opposite. I'm drinking a seltzer. I was enjoying the conversation. Seltzer. Ooh. A little seltzer. A little seltzer. A little adulting. <laughs> a little adulting, you know? Silencer, fucking just pure bread over here. Don't do fucking nothing. I fucking drink chocolate milk. So there you go. You drink chocolate milk. You get a sugar high. Milk. Milk. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. Anyways, we're going to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> silencer, do you have any last words? Everybody stay safe with this coronavirus. And you know, if your throat hurts... A ghost might have violated you while you were asleep. <laughs> and on that note, guys, if you felt like you might have gave a little sucky sucker to a ghost while you were sleeping, uh, make sure he pays you in V-Bucks. <laughs> and with that being said, guys, my name is Killing Spree 37. And Silencer. We're out! Killing Spree 37! Kishaba! Give me, give me, give me, give me some chun chun.
champion of the world, Killing Spree 37!